A voltaic cell consists of a gold and gold 3 plus electrode and a copper and copper 2 plus electrode. And we're going to calculate the gold's concentration if the co copper's concentration is 1.2 molar and it has an E of the cell of 1.13. All right, so we're using that full equation that has the E ot and the E both in there. Excuse me. Sorry, minus RT NF natural log of Q. All right, now we are going to start by getting the EOT because it's also going to define our overall equation. Now we can actually choose to make this a spontaneous reaction by making our anode be the smallest value. By doing that, we've defined that the um, gold, it's, or that the uh, copper is the anode. So, as the anode, I know that it's going to be a, a situation where copper turns into Cu2 plus and makes electrons. Therefore, the gold must take three electrons to give us the Au. All right, so our overall equation, we'll multiply this everything up here by three and everything here by two. We're going to have three copper solids and two gold ions giving us three copper ions and two golds. All right, that's gonna help us get our Q for this next step. So putting this into our equation, actually I know the E out of the cell. So the E out of the cell is or the E of the cell is 1.3 volts. Let's see. 1.5 minus 0.34. My E ot is 1.6 volts. R is going to be our gas constant. T is going to be 298. N, 3 and 2, 6 moles of electrons. And then Faraday's constant. And our Q is going to be interesting because we have copper as a product. And there's three of them, so it's cubed all over gold. And we need to solve for that gold. Bottom of a fraction after a natural log. Hmm, fun. All right, so starting with everything on the left, 1.13. And I'll move this over, minus 1.13. One six. Now I'm gonna get rid of that negative and multiply by n and by Faraday. Divide by r and by the temperature. That'll give me this, which should be equal to the natural log of all this. So I'm gonna get rid of the natural log. By taking the inverse natural log of my answer, that should be equal to this 1.20 over the AU. All right, so I'm going to do this nice little thing. So I'm just going to write down this. I'm not going to actually recalculate. That should be equal to the uh, 1.2 cubed over AU squared. And I'm going to do that nice little mathematical thing where I can reverse those two. So I'm going to take the 1.20, the copper, raise it to the third, and then divide that. Ooh, not like that, though. Raise that to the third. One point two raised to the third divided by that. This value should be my AU squared, so I will just take the square root of this number. And I get an answer of 0 0.40, oh, 0. How about this? Mole. Very tricky, a lot of steps. 
and probably about the hardest we could possibly have to solve one of these.